Now that is a lot of mail calls. Welcome to today's video. Uh, this is an unboxing of mostly subscriber friends and small stuff I've ordered in the last two weeks. It's just kind of been piling up here at my house, but I saved it because I want to make some cool content for you guys. I've also got a second camera over here for a little different angle, and I'm actually going to talk at it the most, and then I'm going to use this Ford camera here uh, to get nice up close of the baits and break them down for you. Just trying to not to be as boring and do something a little different. Do me a favor, guys. If you love the content on this channel, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all the subscribers, all the views. We're getting really close to 16,000. I'm super excited. The goal in 2021 is to hit that 20K mark. And shout out to all my buddies, Justin Rule, Ben Milliken. Uh, good dudes, and they are crushing it. And uh, anytime they mention the bait, man, I'm truly humbled and appreciate it. I'm not the best fisherman. I'm not a pro, but I do know the baits, and I love getting new stuff. That's what we're going to do today, is we're going to check out the new stuff. I've even got a box cutter today to make this really, really easy. All right, let's go ahead and get into the first package right here. Uh, this is from a friend of mine. His name is uh, Chuck, and... Uh, he sent me a little manila envelope. Let's open this thing up and see what we got in here. We have, oh, you know it. This is a Rapala BX Brat. This color right here is called Rock Solid, but you know what it really reminds me of? This reminds me of a jank juice, and I bet that's why he sent it to me. I actually have some of these uh, Brats in the bigger size. I don't have any in this small size. You guys see it right here. It's kind of got a gold and purple. I really like that. It's probably going to be sweet on some uh, overcast days. It's going to get a lot of flash on it. Even those bright days as well. Totally different. Uh, if you don't know about the BX Brat, this bait right here is actually got foam inside of it. It's not quite balsa. It's 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 wrapped in a uh, foam wrapped in plastic. It's really durable, so you can bang off rocks and docks and all kinds of stuff and your bait's not going to break. Uh, really cool. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you again, Chuck, for the Brat Little 3. That's going to go in the box. Definitely going to fish with that. All right, let's get into package number two. This is, these are these are more crankbaits. I can tell you that. Really excited. Let's open this up. Oh yeah, this is juice right here. You know, I love my boss of baits. Eaters, custom baits. This is his new uh, square bill right here. There's one, two, three different colors in here. Uh, these are called the Grind. Uh, so it's a 1.5 size boss of crankbait. We get both cameras to see that. Let me go ahead and get one out of the package. I'll, sh I'll run through the colors I got. This one right here is, is probably my favorite. This is root beer, man. Some people say it imitates a bluegill. Some people say a shad. Some guys say the root beer imitates a crawfish, but it's always been a really popular color here on Kentucky Lake. Uh, man, color's a little bright today. That's okay. But you see, it's kind of got that brown splatter back effect, white side. Got a little orange throat there. Let's see if we can get on both cameras. This other one may not focus as well. Really smooth looking bait, man. Got some triple grip hooks on it. This is a balsa uh, crankbait. Uh, they're about $30 a pop, and, but they're really hard to get. You see how round and fat it is up there? It's going to have a, a really good wobble to it and deflect awesome off cover. And there, you can really see the root beer now. I don't have it so close. Great looking color. The next one, I'm not exactly sure the name of the color. It's some sort of shad. I'm going to say this is more like a blush slash Tennessee shad. Check this one out right here. You see it's got the dark black, copper back, a little bit of green into it. TikTok light and webcam do not like white baits. Look, look at that back right there, man. That looks sexy. Got them crazy cross eyes. Bring it a little closer to my shirt. You're going to be able to see it. Dude, love the Jimmy Eater stuff. Man, I'm a big fan of his baits. Been using them for a while. His flat sides are money. 
But I want to get me some little round bodies. This is kind of a 1.5 style. Now it's called the grind, and I don't know if you can see it on this camera here, but it has a little wire under the bill. That's because the wire is built through the bait. Uh, so a lot of guys like that wire through on a balsa bait because they feel it helps it uh, track straighter better. It's easier to tune, but it also gives it a little bit of hunting action. So, And then the last color I got from Jimmy Eater is this root beer chartreuse. Got to have you a little muddy water balsa crankbait. Check that guy out right there. I love that. Uh, this is kind of my Lake Barkley killer color. And I know Jimmy's fished a little bit of Kentucky Lake, Lake Barkley. I got an interruption. Okay, we're back after being rudely interrupted. That's all good, though. Uh, as I was saying, Root Bear Chartreuse and the Jimmy Eater Grind. Uh, I really love this guy right here. Uh, light might be a little hot on here. That's okay. We'll go to camera two. Check that out. And uh, it has a micarta lip on here, if you see. Instead of, uh, you know, plastic or Lexan, this is a micarta computer bill. Um, it's a little bit more durable. Uh, when you bang stuff, uh, it's going to give it a little bit different action. I really, really like these baits. Those are from Jimmy Eater. Now, let's see what else we got. Moving on. Trying to do all this in one take. This box sharpener is really dull. Or box cutter. Needs to be sharp. So what we got here. Uh oh, I see something purple chartreuse. First thing out of here. A little Bill Norman metal in. Nasty bait. This is a really good bait in the winter. So he's got he's even put some red hooks on here for me um, Shout out to Bob. He's the one that sent me this box Norman middle in a classic bait the color is actually named sour Grape uh, this is a great little bait in that uh, six to eight foot water range um, Got a, got it kind of actually got a wide wiggle to it really really good bait smallmouth killer a lot of guys really like this uh, let's see what else is in here. Let's see a top water bait. Love me some top water baits. All right, Zell Roland Super Pop R Clear Blue Back. Very very versatile. Uh, this one casts really well. It's got a light knocker to it. Uh, one thing I really like uh, about these Excalibur series old pro autograph stuff is the hooks it's got those excalibur rotating trebles which are super super sharp and uh, i enjoy putting those hooks on a lot of new baits they're, they're kind of hard to find they can be a little brittle but they're awesome you know me i'm a sucker for top water let's see what else we got in here there's more stuff matter of fact we got a little note here let me read it here it says bait man i love your show from a fellow fisherman and bait enthusiast i appreciate all you do keep up the good work sorry the flat a is a little rough i figured it would still be a good fish catcher you and your family have a merry christmas one you know it's been a while because it says merry christmas and that was like two weeks ago well at least a week ago um two he just let the cat out of the bag there's a flat a in here and i appreciate it bob oh and here's the flat a dude this is the one this is coach dog purple chartreuse i've only got one other of these now this one's not in the greatest shape well that's all real good because we're gonna fish this thing bright chartreuse purple back uh even the fire tiger markings on this thing are purple uh love to see another company do something like that they actually made an old smithwick rogue uh, in this color too. It's kind of hard to find. There's the big super rogue. I think I got a picture I'll put up on the screen right now. Check that guy out. But that is a Bill Dance Flat A. Uh, you'll see Bill's signature on the bait uh, somewhere. Probably can't because of the light. We'll move it over to this other camera. Uh, Bill's signature is on the back end. I think there was about eight colors 
uh, in the build ants flat eight awesome springtime bait uh the cool thing about this one it's already beat up i ain't scared to go fish it hooks are still good let's go let's see what else we got in here last thing oh it's rattling i bet this is another top water bait indeed it is a jimmy houston excalibur super spook clear blue back does have a white belly on it. I like a white belly on a top order. Man. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? It's super loud. Super loud. So these are one of the biggest super spooks that were made. Uh, and before the Vixen and the Paycheck, this is what guys threw uh, to get that loud knocker noise. Really sharp hooks on this. This has actually got some... Uh, the bronze Excalibur hooks, uh, you can still see they have the bends in them. These are super sharp and they're designed specifically for these big top orders. Time for another box. Let's see what's in this. Uh, this is from a subscriber. We actually are doing a bait trade. Let's see what he sent me for the trade here. Try not to show anybody's address on here. You know, I don't want uh, piles of bait showing up at your house. So what we got here. Uh-oh. Two baits. This is a Nori's, Nori's Hula Chat. Sweet color. Uh, this is kind of a, a bluegill shad color. If you don't uh, know what the Hula Chat is, it's a snagless bladed jig. Epic Eric has kind of turned me on to these. I don't have one. I do now. Yeah, it's almost built upside down. The blade's like on the bottom of the chin. So when that bait comes across and you cover it, it flips over. Uh, it doesn't get hung up. Great around wood. Uh, they're kind of a pretty penny. It's kind of hard to find these. Um, it's definitely a bait that I want to add to uh, my bladed jig game. And of course, it actually comes with some specialized trailers in here. And that's, uh, that's the Nori's Hula Cat Bladed Jig. That's going in my bladed jig box uh, right after here. I plan on using that quite a bit, especially this spring on Lake Barkley around all those lay downs in the wood. Next bait. Let's get this one out. This is a Lucky Craft KJ Flat, man. This is a bait that you don't see a whole lot anymore. You can tell it's a very narrow uh, bait. It's got a micarta lip on it. This is a great, this is kind of a a thread fin shad color. I forgot the exact name uh, on this. It's not pearl thread fin, uh, but, but this is the KV sh KJ for Kelly Jordan flat 1.0. Good finesse, square bill crankbait, flat side. I like this color in the fall. It will work in the spring. Uh, but you know, Lucky Craft kind of discontinued this bait uh, about a year or two ago, and they've been getting hard to get. Some of them go for big prices on eBay. Some of them don't. I actually talked to Kelly Jordan. He says, you know, I don't really have that many left, but it's one of my favorite baits, especially in the spring in the crawl or yellow colors. It's just dynamite um, when you're going down pea gravel banks, uh, 45 degree banks, leading banks, just banging it off rocks and stumps. Doesn't get hung up a whole lot. Um, it's not real heavy. It's pretty light. This bait is pretty light. It can be hard to cast. I used to have a couple of them called a lot of fish on them. And uh, long story short, just I've lost them or broke them off. Who knows? I do remember I broke one off on a pretty good smallmouth one time. But KJ Flat 1.0. Love the old Lucky Craft stuff. And check that guy out, man. Look at that red eye on there. My car to lip. Let's go. Let's keep on boxing here. Got two boxes left. Let's go with uh, this box right here. This is from my man, Mark. Uh, he's kind of my JDM guy hookup. Guarantee you this is going to have some pretty cool stuff in it. Actually, I think it's only got two baits. If I remember when I ordered this. I try to unbox sometimes, but I'm not very smooth at it. And I just pull stuff out and throw it on the floor. Oh, yeah. This is uh, the Daiwa Wild Peanut. And y'all have probably seen the wild peanut here on some of uh, my videos. I got two colors. I got a blue craw. This one might not show up that good. But I've got a golden craw too. And it's almost a chrome gold. 
swap over here to second camera. So the Wild Peanut is basically the JDM version of a wiggle wart. Uh, and let's go ahead and get one out of the box and I'll show you. Check this guy out. This blue craw to show up really good. Oh yeah. Got that great crawfish paint job. You see the bill here? It's not as wide as a wiggle wart, um, but it's got the kind of sloping angle that a wart has where they're not straight down. They're kind of at a real lot tapering angle. Oh, that blue craw is nasty. It's got some premium hooks on it. Not near as fat as a wiggle wart, but these things, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of guys throwing these. They're not talking about them. Uh, designed specifically for fishing in that spring, cold water, light line. And then I got, let's check out this golden craw color. I've got pretty much a whole set of the wild peanuts. Uh, they make a tiny wild peanut I have as well. But check that gold one out, man. That right there on an overcast day on Bull Shoals Lake or Table Rock. That's, that's going to get you bit right there. But These have some hunt to them. A lot of guys really enjoy these baits. Uh, they're hard to get. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of elite pros, FLW pros, searching for these things on Instagram and Facebook. So they're hot. If you have a chance to get your hands on them, I would. They're not too expensive. I think these are like 15 bucks a piece. Check out those wild peanuts right there. Second camera, smoke. I love getting hard baits. Hard to get stuff. That leaves us... That leaves us with one box. This is the secret Santa box. It's heavy, it feels good. I'm ready, you're ready, let's unbox it. I actually taped it back up for dramatic purposes. First thing we got in here is not a bait. This would be why the box is so daggum heavy. This, is a lure retriever it says the toothy fisherman retriever and this thing is big you tell on the second camera angle here how long this thing is it's it's, it's, it's as big as my arm but see you've got all these chains here and this is probably for hard baits uh, i probably wouldn't be trying to retrieve any football jigs with this but uh, you slip your line over this ring it goes down the chains dangle you hope they grab a hook and you're able to get your bait uh, you know what these are really good for is if you hang up an Alabama rig. All the guys I know that are trying to get their A rigs back, they use something with a lot of chains on them. So you know what? That's cool. We don't want to lose any rare baits around here. So now we got us a nice lure retriever. Be good from fishing from the boat. Probably not so much on the bank. Let's see what else is in here. I spy a mouse. A little bitty. This is a. Uh, a clay bait, uh, I believe it's a, uh, I forgot if it's called the possum or, or just a mouse, but it's a small rat. Uh, really cool bait, it's got some good squeak to it, it's got a single joint back there, and it looks like a little bitty baby rat. Check it out. Got a straight down angle bill, meant to be fished on top of the water. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... I like rat baits. I've got a bigger version of this bait uh, on my bait wall up above me. It's pretty smooth right there. All right, last bait, last one we're going to unbox. I don't have one of these baits, and I'm really glad I got one. And it is a swim bait. Uh, this is from 36 lures they're based right there Lake Fort Texas Mickey Ellis uh, this is a wake bait I forgot the exact name of it but man this thing is nasty I'm glad they even put the owner hook covers on here for the Tennessee River uh, this chartreuse shad color is absolutely uh, nasty it's got a I believe it's a 316 freestyle I could be wrong or it's this sport shad, I think. Actually, a 316 sport shad, I do believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind being wrong on occasion. 
but sometimes these swim baits get out of hand. I don't know um, what the name model is or the sink rate, but I'm very blessed to get that in a secret Santa. Um, we were on that swim bait game hard. You know, six cents has got a hard swim bait coming out pretty soon. I'm excited to get it. So, okay, guys, if you've made it all the way through this video, I want you to do me a favor. Leave a comment. What was your favorite bait I unboxed? I appreciate anybody that sent me stuff. If you ever want to send me baits, uh, send me a direct message on Instagram or Facebook. I'll send you my address. I love doing the unboxings. I've got a huge mess here in the bait room. I'm going to clean it up and get it organized. I went and bought some stuff. And guys, there's going to be more videos, more unboxing coming this week. Make sure you hit the thumbs up for me. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, hit the sub button. Bait Man is out.